in my uh, college, uh, there were all kinds of politics. Of course, I was rather with the people of the left, but at that time, uh, most of the young people were on the left. And they were Marxist, Maoist, Trotskyist, Communist, uh, uh, left Catholics, and all kinds of, of, uh, of left uh, radicalism. And they were, they were also ecologists. And even if all my friends were Marxist and, and so on, uh, I had a problem with that. A, a, a good system cannot be a system where there is such uh, um, despotism like it was in, in, in the Soviet Union. So I couldn't be a, a really Marxist or this kind of, of, of things. And it, political ecology at that time began to be very strong. It was in the uh, 70s, the beginning of the 70s, and there were very good writers and, and people thinking about ecology. And for me it was perfect because it was a, a, a radical opposition to the system, to the capitalism and to the uh, uh, consumption society. But at the same time, this uh, idea, this theory respect the freedom of the people and, and try to match uh, uh, the individual with the common good. In the 80s, people begin to think that politics was not important and I forgot ecology and I begin to, uh, to have my family and uh, to begin my jobs and in fact I was a scientific writer and I was involved in the microcomputing. Several years later I began to be boring by microcomputing, microcomputing, microcomputing. I wanted to change and at that time precisely they were Chernobyl. And suddenly I think but 10 years ago you think about ecology and it was so important and ecology is still important. Nobody talk about that now but it's absolutely important. And I begin to try to reorient, I was a journalist, I, I, I begin to try to reorient my work towards ecology. And two years ago, I begin to think that, well, I have to find an, uh, an other way to express. And also I was uh, impressed by the social crisis that I was seeing everywhere around me. The first thing is to understand that the environmental crisis where we live is historical. It's the first time in the history of humankind that we are in that situation. That is, the humanity is encounter, is meeting, is meeting the limits of the biosphere. Okay? The humanity is meeting the limits of the biosphere. That is the root of the historical crisis. The second question is that this information is not new. It's for 40 years that we have been aware of that. And in fact, our policies don't move uh, uh, to change the thing, to adapt to this ecological situation. Why? And the answer, in my opinion, is that an oligarchy, an upper class, block the things. How? And we have to get in mind that at the same time uh, we have a very big inequality in our all uh, Occident and Western countries. And it's very different than for 30 years ago. I mean, during the 50s, 70s, 60s, the inequality was terrible. But since the 80s, we have been a big increase in all the countries, United States, Europe, Japan of the inequalities and with the constitution of an oligarchy, an upper class, who control the power, political, economic and mediatic, and don't want to change. But there is another thing. They don't want to change and they block the evolution. But also there is an important thing. And I, I base my argument on Thorstein Veblen, uh, who was a, a very great economist, American economist in the, at the end of the 19th. And Veblen, in fact, explained that the upper class um, defines the cultural model for all the societies. In a society, every individual will try to imitate uh, the way of life of the upper class. And what happens when there is such inequality like now?
And what happens when the oligarchy spends his money, its money with its other consumption? Yacht, big house, big cars, big everything, uh, planes, uh, watches, uh, and so on, and so on, and so on. And it means that all the society is the same idea of overconsumption. Okay, and now if we want to uh, prevent the deepening of the environmental crisis, in principle it's very easy. We have to diminish our impact on the environment. And diminish our impact on the environment, it's very simple in the principle. We have to diminish our material conception. But you are not going to ask uh, the African people, the Latin American people, to diminish their conception. No, it will be in our countries, in the United States, in France, in Japan, in Germany, that we will ask people to diminish their conception. And not only the oligarchy, of course, they will have to diminish their conception, but it would not be enough because they are not very numerous. It will be to all the middle class, me, you, okay, to begin to diminish our material conception. But it will not be acceptable. We will not accept that if we go on with such inequality in our society. We will not accept to change our way of life if the big people do not change their way of life and if they are not uh, um, uh, bring back to the rest of the society. So the idea is that to prevent deepening of environmental crisis, we have to diminish our material consumption and it will not be acceptable, it will not be possible if there is such inequality in our society. And I would complete by a small point that is very important in fact. Uh, in our ideological um, thinking with all the advertisement, TVs, magazines and so on, uh, we could think diminishing material consumption as a bad thing. In fact, it would be a good thing, even for us, because if you have less cars, less TVs, less all that stuff, you could also have more money for public goods, health, culture, uh, education, um, but also another policy of energy, uh, another policy for transportation, for agriculture, and so on. And the basic idea is that we, we could reorient our efforts less to material consumption, material production, and more for public goods, public relationship. And that is a good way. That, I mean, is the way we, 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 we should go if we want to uh, 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 prevent the deepening of the environmental crisis and also improve our social situation, which is very bad, with poor in a very bad shape and rich, uh, uh, over rich.